Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be building this Coca-Cola Fruhoff semi-truck trailer from AMT. This is a kit I picked up oh, quite a while ago and it's just been lurking in my stash waiting for me to take a run at it. So today is the day and I'm looking forward to having a cool trailer to add to my semi-truck collection. Now before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of my current subscribers and say thank you very much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome and thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy this content, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Your support is very appreciated and as always feel free to engage with me in the comments and share this video with fellow enthusiasts. Now that we've got that covered, let's dive right in. Now, this is one of those kits that's been around for a long time and actually hasn't changed much at all. Originally released by AMT back in the 70s, this kit has been re-released many times over the years. From the looks of it on Scalemates, the only changes have been box art and decals. This particular release is the 2018 Coca-Cola themed one, and I'm not sure if I will use the Coca-Cola design or come up with something original. We'll just have to wait and see where the build takes me. Okay, let's get this box opened up and get to the build.
And here we have it, friends, the completed Fruhoff trailer from AMT. This was a pretty cool kit. Uh, honestly, I haven't built a trailer since I was a kid and I don't even really remember building it. Uh, it's been so long ago, but I did build one a long time ago. It was probably the same kit in a different package. Uh, as I said, this kit was originally popped in the 70s and I don't believe there's really been any changes to it since. Outside of the decals and the box art, and maybe the instructions a little bit. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same kit. Not that that's a bad thing, but just be aware this is an old republished kit. So on mine, I did a pretty basic paint job. Uh, I did get some of these stickers I had from a while ago and slapped them on the side. I liked how they looked. Um, did a gloss black on the trailer and I'll get into what paint I used here in a moment. Uh, some aluminum on the frame on the bottom, some steel and aluminum kind of made to look a little wet. I didn't weather this one a lot. I just wanted it to be just kind of fresh looking. Uh, undercarriage there, painted it with some blue, uh, custom wheels. Uh, well, not custom wheels, custom painted wheels. Uh, the back doors, I tried to get kind of chrome, but you know, they came out okay. Um, yeah, so not a whole lot of detail on this kit. It is nice. They have the airlines and everything in there uh, and the uh, landing gear. You can have them up or down, mine are down because I want to put it on a truck. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward kit, pretty good build. I only had a couple problems with this kit. Uh, one, getting the walls together and, and uh, properly set up to where they're straight and they're square is crucial. Um, mine was a little warped, so I had to do some straightening and eventually I got it to where I could get it mounted on the bottom. I mounted the top last and just kind of used it to kind of hold everything together and straighten everything up. The only other issue I had, the doors were really badly warped and I did everything I could to flatten and straighten them but I just couldn't get them to work well opening and closing. So I glued mine together and sealed the back shut. So it's not gonna open and close and that's okay. I'm not really gonna be doing, putting anything in it, obviously. Also, I didn't really have to finish off the interior. It's just primer gray. But overall, pretty straightforward kit, a good kit to build. Um, be aware that the instructions, they're old school. They don't have any part numbers on them, just step numbers. So you'll have to really look closely at the instructions and make sure you're using the right part and getting it in the right place. There are lots of resources online, pictures and things. You can look up to figure out if you're not sure where something goes. You can figure it out by looking at other folks that have built them online. And that's just something you have to do with these old kits these days if you're not really familiar with them. So one thing I tried out for this kit, because it is such a big kit, um, I tried out some new spray paint. Now this is the, uh, it's Rust-Oleum, that's not new, it's a gloss black. But what's new is this cool little five-in-one nozzle. So you basically, you can change the nozzle and that changes the spray pattern. And I had seen a couple other folks uh, check these out online and I wanted to try it. Um, the cool thing on this one, it has a fan, a fan pattern. So when you're painting something big like this, you can fan it and it goes on really well, surprisingly. Uh, you do have to be careful. Don't get it on too heavy. Just do lots of light coats. It actually flattened out and the finish is really good on this. I also used this on another kit I'm building. You'll be able to see that one up soon. Um, but yeah, uh, Really uh, a nice tool if you just got something big to paint or you want to lay down a nice glossy color. I mean, I put a gloss coat on this kind of to seal in the stickers, but really uh, it didn't really need it. It was a pretty nice gloss coat all on its own. So uh, if you guys see these out there with this cool uh, uh, nozzle, give it a try. I did. I really like it. One thing I will say, when you lay down the paint, it takes a lot longer to really dry and you have to give it time to dry. I let this thing sit for about a week, I didn't touch it. Um, and after about a week, it was no longer tacky to the touch. I didn't have to worry about getting fingerprints on it. And once it is dried, man, it is solid. I mean, this is solid paint. So, so yeah, definitely, definitely a uh, high score on this Rust-Oleum paint. So that'll wrap up this episode and this build of the AMT Fruhoff van trailer. I hope you liked it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't already, please remember to click that subscribe button down below. It helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. All right, so until next time, friends, everyone be safe out there and go build something.